While at the Glasgow College of Technology, obviously most of my time outside that was taken up with part-time football. I was playing with Clyde Football Club at the time. Um, but, you know, in terms of the extracurricular stuff, it was very much focused on the students' union um, and with a strong kind of interest in music and all sorts of kind of social aspects of it. So I think the social aspect was very strong and that sometimes, I suppose, acted as an impediment in terms of my kind of football career progression. Um, so, no, very fond memories, but in terms of other extracurricular things, it was very much focused on football and beyond football, uh, or before football, having fun uh, within the, the Students' Union. The memories, obviously, are a mixed bag. Uh, like everything, when you've got change in your life, you've got to adjust. Um, having spent two years in full-time football, you do mature very, very quickly. And... Um, my first feelings at the, the, the course was that I was much older, wiser, uh, maybe more boring at times in terms of my comparisons with the students that attended the course at the time. But that kind of very quickly kind of harmonised and equalised itself. Um, so met a lot of very interesting people, uh, most notably my wife, Annette, uh, who was on the course, and two brother-in-laws, uh, Nick and Guy. Um, so it was a very unusual situation that you had in amongst the academic uh, experience but also the emotional experience and friendship experience that two of your friends were ultimately going to be marrying two of your sisters. So um, very fond memories, some really good people at the course, uh, some critical times where I was, I suppose, struggling somewhat and you get some of the professors kind of navigating you through this. A difficult period, so you know, I'm immensely grateful for that, and that was probably a wee pivotal moment in my academic uh, progression. In terms of advice to students, um, the one thing that I would always uh, recommend is you know, persevere through difficult periods, um, seek help from people that you think are going to genuinely give you help and wish uh, good well and success on you um, and use this use the subject use your curriculum as your kind of core structure and you know use that kind of academic structure to wrap your passion around about it um, it's a very kind of simplistic way of looking at it but it can be very powerful and you know like for example engineering is my course and I've used it you know with football parallels and uh, you know life parallels um, and where we're standing today, this is all part of the kind of the rooted engineering, where you see, you know, impediments, you see problems with infrastructure, and, and you focus on creating the conditions. So the engineering kind of uh, academic qualifications that I gained, I think, have served me very well, both within my own life, uh, my own passion, which is regeneration, and also football.